All right, well, I know everyone's time is important, so I'm gonna get started. Again, my name is Mike Rubino. I am the IAC Noise Lock Door and Window Sales Manager. And today we're gonna to be discussing uh, noise lock doors, uh, specifically super noise lock sliding doors. Before we get into the doors, IAC Acoustics is a Catalyst Acoustics Group company. Catalyst Acoustics is the owner of several acoustic companies. Uh, and then we're, the architectural sales team uh, is made up of several people. I'm the noise lock door and window sales manager. I've been working with IAC Acoustics since 2016. Jeremy Vitza is the architectural sales manager. And Tom Hines is the director of IAC Acoustics, and he's been working with IAC since 2001. Today, we're talking about IAC's architectural door offerings, noise lock doors and super noise lock doors, um, what the differences and what the similarities are between the two. Noise lock doors are two and a half inch, three and a half inch, and or five inches thick. Most of them will be ADA compliant um, at a standard man, size, man door size. IAC uses commercial door hardware, which most of which is compatible with the noise lock doors. Um, there are some small exceptions as far as what hardware may not be used with noise lock doors. For example, we do not use cylindrical lock sets, but we would use mortise lock sets instead. So uh, even when something is not uh, able to be used with the noise lock door, we can use something that is comparable and will provide the same functionality. UL fire ratings are available with noise lock doors up to three hours on non veneered doors and up to an hour and a half with wood veneer. Noise lock doors are available in single, double, triple, and quad leaf configurations. Noise lock doors are typically limited to a size of no larger than 14 by 14 feet. Um, after that, we move into the super noise lock doors uh, when they go over that size. <clears throat> Super noise lock doors consist of a structural member in addition to sheet metal and are either four or six inches thick. Um, they are not ADA compliant like the noise lock doors uh, due to the size and weight of the door. And we use more robust hardware, which typically looks a little bit more industrial. <clears throat> Super noise lock doors uh, are also available in single, double, triple, or quad leaf configurations. Um, but they're also, in addition to that, they're available in either horizontal sliding or vertical lifting. Uh, you can see in this picture, there's actually a tri-leaf super, uh, super noise lock door. Uh, you see on the right side, that there's, a, you know, there's two leaves and on the left, there's one uh, leaf. And then you can see a noise lock door within the super noise lock door. Noise lock door performance ranges from STC 43 to STC 64. Um, so the, the noise lock door performance ratings are 43, STC 51, STC 53, STC 55, 61, and STC 64. You can get many different size windows in noise lock doors and any type of wood veneer um, and pretty much all commercial door hardware and UL fire ratings. Noise lock doors can also be provided with blast resistance and RF shielding. This slide includes the different noise lock door ratings along with their thicknesses and weights. Um, this is a very useful um, chart. Uh, at the end of this presentation, if anyone's interested in getting a copy of the entire presentation, please uh, type that in the question section or send me an email and I'll be happy to send you this information. Uh, I can send you this chart specifically is very helpful. This slide includes photos of a single leaf noise lock door. Each of these doors includes a large narrow light. The photo in the middle includes um, both a window in the door and a side light, um, which we often do. These doors specifically are STC 53. Um, as mentioned previously, all commercial hardware or most commercial hardware can be used with noise lock doors. Doors shown in these slides um, 
are using an electrified mortise lock set. Um, this one, I believe, is a Schlage LE series lock set, which has Wi-Fi capabilities. Here's another example of a, of a very large side light. This one is also STC 53. Uh, again, the electrified lock set, uh, important to note that IAC factory installs all hardware into the door, uh, hangs it in the frame and, and make sure that everything is operating and functioning properly before it ships. <clears throat> this slide, you'll see two double leaf noise lock doors. Both have a wood veneer finish. And uh, you'll notice that on the left, that photo, uh, that door has unequal leaves. Something will do when that's required um, for specific applications. <laughs> this is an example of a quad leaf noise lock door. Something to note about this quad leaf door is that we use a standard IAC cam lift hinge on the inner leaves, but on the outer leaves, we used a more robust hinge. Um, that's to support the weight as, as two leaves are supported off of those larger hinges. Um, although this hinge is more industrial, um, it's also a cam lift hinge. So it does um, move when the door opens and allows for um, a proper seal when the door closes into its final closed position with the uh, compression at the floor. The door in this photo has a clear opening of 13 feet by nine foot high. Here's another example of a larger quad leaf door. This one is um, hanging in the IAC factory. You can see this door also has the robust hinges on the outer leaves. Um, this one happens to be more industrial. Um, and something to note that you'll see on the, in the photo on the left with the door, the, the leaves are open and, and um, open to the outer edge. And this, this allows for less of a swing radius. So if this was just a regular double door, it would take much more floor space to open the door. Uh, often that's why we provide quad leaf doors. There's just not enough space to open it. So with the quad leaf, uh, it takes up a lot less space when swinging that leaf. But when the doors become larger, uh, typically over 14 by 14 feet, we move to a super noise lock door. As I mentioned before, they're available as STC 51, which is a four inch thick door panel, or STC 55, which is six inches thick. We can provide manual or electric operation, whether the super noise lock door is a swing, sliding vertical, uh, or by party. Fire rated construction is available, um, as well as blast ratings. Um, in the picture that we showed before of the tri-leaf, if you recall, there was a noise lock door installed within the super noise lock door, and this can be used as a means of egress. This example um, is a double leaf super noise lock door. It has those two noise lock doors installed as a means of egress, which I was just mentioning. You can see in this photo, you can really compare the different types of hardware between the noise lock door and the super noise lock door. Um, I pointed out a couple times the larger hinges on the super noise lock door. You can see those very clearly. And then you can see the smaller hinges on the noise lock door. Um, you'll also notice the standard looking lever on the noise lock door. Um, that one appears to be the um, lever side of an exit device. So on the inside of those noise lock doors would be uh, a panic uh, exit device with full width push bar. You'll also then see uh, in the center between the two super noise lock doors, um, it's very common for super noise lock doors is a uh, triple latching uh, slam latch type device. And there's also some heavy duty cane bolts at the bottom of the door. So this, um, when this door is opened, to move equipment in, those cane bolts will be closed uh, to hold it open. They're also shut when the door is closed when testing is being performed on the inside. Here are two more examples of super noise lock doors. Uh, you can see the double leaf super noise lock door on the left is lined with absorptive panels. This door was part of a hemianechoic chamber. 
Those panels were also supplied by IAC Acoustics. And the picture on the right is the tri-leaf door, which we saw in one of the earlier slides. So what we offer with Super Noise Lock sliding doors is a rugged steel construction manufactured at any size, and that can be horizontal sliding, vertical lifting, um, and for horizontal sliding, it can either, either be a single door panel that slides left to right, or it can be biparting uh, with two sliding doors that open um, outwards from the center. We can put windows in the, in the sliding doors. Uh, we can also install noise lock man doors as a means of egress, like we do in the other super noise lock doors. Um, noise lock doors, um, sliding super noise lock doors are also available with fire rated construction and blast blast and ballis um, ballistic ratings. You can see on this uh, detail B here. So this is the door panel and uh, this would be the labyrinth. So IAC Acoustics provides a labyrinth with sliding doors made up of acoustical panels. And this is to basically cap the ends of the door when it's in the closed and open position. So that um, to, to trap the noise from moving through here. Um, there's a seal here. So the noise would have to go past this seal around the sliding door through the labyrinth and then this is uh, typically is a one foot overlap of door panels to labyrinth. And so the noise would have to come through that one foot of space and that's only about a half inch gap. And then there's another seal here. Um, and these are perforated acoustical panels. Um, and so that is essentially where we gain the performance. The um, panels will meet or exceed the performance level of the door. Super noise lock sliding doors, like I mentioned, they have typically a one foot overlap on each side and the top. So you can see here, um, the panel sticks up one foot. The labyrinth um, system also then will bump up around the track hanging system and the motor. So you're not gonna see any of that. It's also completely enclosed. Most of our sliding doors are top hung with a bottom roller guide. However, they can be designed to be ground mounted with a guide on top. Most of the time, the sliding doors are made of structural panels that are bolted together in the field. Um, however, in some applications, we will make the door out of IAC panels to save costs. Um, super noise lock sliding doors are supplied with seals all the way around, including a bottom seal, which is factory installed to the bottom of the door. The operator is provided with a variable speed controller it's common that the operators require 460 volt three phase power. However, there are different electrical packages available and the operator will be selected to best accommodate the uh, application. We'll work with the customer and make sure that everybody's on the same page as far as the power requirements before any components are pur purchased or fabricated. It is common that um, we would supply photo eyes or reversing edges depending on the safety requirements. Uh, and both the super noise lock door and the labyrinth panels are factory primed to be field painted. This is an elevation view of a super noise lock sliding door. Um, so this is somewhat typical of what you would see in a submittal. Uh, we've kind of cleaned it up a little bit for this presentation. There will probably be more, a few more dimensions and obviously additional pages with more detail. But this drawing, it shows the sliding door. Uh, you can see we have a clear opening of 144 by 144 inches. Uh, and then you can see the hidden lines here. So the door panel is overlapping by one foot on the left and right and at the top. <clears throat> when the door opens, it will slide to the right and it will go behind these labyrinth panels. So the actual door size the panel size itself um, is 14 foot wide by 13 foot high door panel. And you can see here too, I was mentioning that the track and operator system are completely covered by the labyrinth. So you can see these hidden lines at the top. So that gives it a nice clean finished look. Uh, there will be an access panel uh, at some point in the labyrinth um, to 
to get access to the motor and the operator components for service. Uh, this is a rendering um, of pretty much the exact same drawing setup that we were just looking at. So you can see the sliding door here is pretty much in the open position moving into the labyrinth. Here are the upper labyrinth, labyrinth panels with the operator and track inside. Here's a plan view of the same uh, project. So you can see uh, the panels come off the wall here. So this is uh, um, a, about a, a one foot panel, or I'm sorry, about eight inches. Then we have another four inch panel. The labyrinth panels are constructed of four inch thick acoustical panels. Um, they'll come over. Then we have the sliding door. And then we have the smaller section of labyrinth on the uh, opposite edge. Um, you can see there's a seal here and a seal here, a seal here and a seal here. So there's actually double seals on both the front and back of the sliding door panel. Uh, this is just a blow up of that. So we make sure when we're doing the submittals uh, that we're providing detailed drawings of the door and all the different views to ensure that everybody's on the same page and has the appropriate clearance for the whole assembly, including the labyrinth. Uh, here is a larger view of the labyrinth covering the track and operator. You can see the support steel gets mounted to the wall, just here. Um, the operator, the, the track and trolley assembly are pre-mounted to the support steel. The operator assembly is also typically pre-mounted to the support steel. Uh, so that makes for an easier installation. Uh, as we mentioned before, there will be an access panel in the labyrinth to allow service to the electric motor operator. You can also see more clearly these the one foot overlap uh, at both the top and at the, at the sides. You'll see here that there is a very minimal gap on in the front and back of the door panel. And that gap is then filled with the seal. This is an example of a lower performing super noise lock sliding door. Um, you can tell it's lower performing because it does not have a labyrinth. So that, that's not a labyrinth at the top and sides. That's just more of a rain hood. Um, if the performance requirements are low enough, we would exclude the labyrinth uh, to save costs. Typically in that situation, we would increase the one foot overlap at the head and jam. This is another example of uh, a super noise lock sliding door with lower performance. You can see that this door panel is made up of, of a structural frame and then IAC panels are installed uh, to fit the structural frame. They, they can be brought into the site in, in pieces and installed uh, there in front of the opening. This specific app application was a lower performing door uh, and was more for absorption. So if you could see the backside of the door panel, um, there's some absorptive material installed to that face. Super noise lock doors, typical applications are uh, listed on this slide. And the picture door is a vertical lifting door. This is a stage door. Uh, most stage doors are vertical lifting because the horizontal sliding doors or biparting take up, they take up floor space. So when you do vertical lifting, you're worried about space above. Uh, and typically in a stage application, the floor space is so valuable that they choose to lift instead of slide horizontally. Um, but you can see stage doors for theaters, TV and movie sets, industrial and automotive testing, um, anechoic chambers, hangers. Uh, really, they can be used anywhere that a large door is needed uh, with limited space for swinging doors. Um, so when a swinging door can't be used because there's not enough space to swing it, 
uh, they do have to be concerned that they have the space above or uh, along the wall to install the operator and have the, the labyrinth system installed. Um, this is an example of a biparting super noise lock sliding door. This one has a cutout in the middle of the two panels. Uh, so this one, when it's closed, there would be a collar attached to the opening and different motors would be hooked up um, and sealed off to that opening and tested. Um, and different equipment can be tested using this method. Uh, at this point, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them and I'll definitely send out the copy of this presentation to anyone. Uh, I would be the person you can contact um, if you need more information about uh, any, no any noise lock doors, super noise lock doors or sliding doors. Uh, and before I end the webinar, I'm going to play um, a 3D um, automation, automated rendering that we've had created to kind of show you um, how the super noise lock door and labyrinth would be installed. Um, if there's any other questions, I'm happy to answer them. If not, I'm going to end the webinar and I'll send out the present, a copy of the presentation to you, Phil. Uh, thanks for joining Tyler. Um, look forward to hearing from you guys in the future.